Good evening. Good evening. Am I on? Great. I, I'm so glad you all are here. Welcome to Covenant. This is a uh, wonderful occasion where we get to hear some uh, music from Spencer LaJoy. So glad that you are here. A couple of uh, housekeeping notes. Uh, if you need restrooms, we have restrooms uh, right this way across the hall, gendered restrooms uh, across from Fellowship Hall. And then we have an all gender uh, uh, handicap accessible restroom. If you go straight down this hallway until it dead ends, you'll see a sign there that shows you where that is. Uh, so please make use of restrooms while you're here as you need be. Right after the concert, you are welcome to come across the hall to Fellowship Hall as well, where we've got some cookies, uh, because you know you can't have a concert at a church without <laughs> cookies and a chance to say hi to each other. And we hope you make use of that. So come eat some cookies, say hi to Spencer. Uh, they'd love to meet you after the show as well. Uh, do we have a representative here tonight from Kaleidoscope? We do not. We do not. Great. I thought we didn't. So uh, we have been able to make this concert free to all of you, and we're so glad that we were able to do that. And instead of charging uh, a cover charge to come in, we're asking donations to go uh, to the Kaleidoscope Youth Center here in Columbus. And so we've got baskets right out back here, and I see that there's a whole bunch of money in it already, which is wonderful. There's also a basket outside this door. We thought that as a church that right now, uh, raising money for the Kaleidoscope Youth Center to support LGBT youth here in Columbus was the best thing we could do uh, with our money uh, for this concert. So I hope you'll give generously towards that cause uh, after the show. Spencer did a concert last night at Rose Run Presbyterian Church, and even though we, of course, have a church service here tomorrow morning, I, I, I can't not tell you what Spencer's doing tomorrow, which is tomorrow morning at uh, Indianola Presbyterian Church. Spencer's going to be playing and uh, the Plowshare Prayer with their choir. Trip, what time is that at? 10.30 a.m. at Indianola Prez. Uh, if you've got any questions kind of about where anything is around this place, anybody that's got a You Belong t-shirt would gladly direct you uh, to anything that you might need. And hopefully, you know, that, that's, I hope you all feel that, that you belong here. Meaning, some of you I know have grown up here, right? And you've been a part of this church since you were in your mother's womb. Um, and <laughs> others of you are here for the first time tonight. And, and, and that's great too. So um, just want you to know that you are all welcome here, uh, both tonight, but, but any time in the future as well, uh, you belong here. So let me check my cheat sheet, make sure I covered everything that I wanted to cover. I think I did. That sounds like it's it. Let's welcome Spencer LaJoy.
trace and it's all over my face Too late to run away I think I'm gonna chase it I hope you notice It's past time We put to use this diagnosis Oh, I got it bad, I got it bad I got it bad so much. My name is Spencer LaJoy. Um, you're so sweet and so hospitable already. Really, really kind. Even the, in the emails leading up to this event, I felt so taken care of. This is wonderful. Thank you. Um, the rest of the set will be nothing like that song. <laughs> so I'm glad you liked it. Um, it's mostly going to be sad now. Uh, uh, I am gender non-binary. I use they, them pronouns. Uh, the coming out process for me, um, at least in regard to gender, was wonderful, full of so much life and joy. And it comes with a bit of grief in that everything I thought was true about not just gender, but like all the constructs that held my little West Michigan rural brain together. It all fell apart. It all went up in flames. And I think when our world goes up in flames, we have to make some decisions about what we want to take with us out of the fire. Who are we going to be when it's all said and done? Right? All right. Here's a song called House Fires. scared of house fires so we would make a list of things we might save with little arms and little fists we'd carry all our choices down the stairs and out the door to the mailbox at the bottom of our hill beside So 
charger Beside a lake, and it won't go up in flames. We dug each other's graves so we wouldn't die alone. And we planned a great escape from this world to one our own. You would grab the animals and our most expensive gin. I would grab. Afraid of house fires, so help me make a list of things we might save should it ever come to this. Let's keep it simple, just one thing a piece. If I carry you, will you care? I can always tell the quality of an audience based on how early I hear mmm in a set. That was pretty good. I think I've heard like two already and we're only two songs in. Um, so well done. <laughs> good job you. Good job you. Uh, I grew up uh, in Presbyterian. How many of you are Presbyterian? Like actually, <laughs> this is so many Presbyterian. Why are there so many Presbyterians in Ohio? I don't get it. I don't understand. I grew up Presbyterian in uh, southwest Michigan, right there. Um, Hastings, first Presbyterian church. Um, and Catholic. I grew up Catholic, too. And... Uh, I really had a good experience, actually. That's not, I'm not being facetious. Uh, but something those traditions, at least at that time, something they did not teach me was how to trust my body, to listen to what my body was telling me. Uh, so I've had to learn that. I'm still learning that. This song is, a, is an ode to my body and to trusting myself starting with my breath. It's called breathing. Let me tell you a story of a kid caught up. Everyone else was so happy. And who, who was I to make it stop? Couldn't tell you the moment when I got so lost Playing the part till I wasn't myself I woke up as someone else A 
A very wise woman once told me I couldn't keep carrying everyone else That I need to remember the oxygen for myself Maybe for the first time I am breathing Swear that I'm just following a feeling I lost the script There isn't one for this so just make it up It's you It's me It's us If I'm honest I'm scared of untying the string All of this reckless unraveling All, all that's left is all of me A very wise woman once told me I couldn't keep carrying everyone else That I need to remember the oxygen for myself It's me, it's us Maybe for the first time I am breathing I swear that I am just following a feeling the script there isn't one for this so I'll just make it up it's you it's me it's us it's you it's me it's a Thank you. Uh, I can't see you over here. I need to talk to you, though. Um, okay, hello. Um, so, uh, every year when I tour back through West Michigan, where I grew up, I play in one of my best friend's backyards, and like a little concert in her backyard. And she lost her father a, f a few years ago. And this last summer when I was playing there, this red cardinal kept showing up to sing with me, and uh, you may know that a lot of people see red cardinals as people from our past who are coming back to say hello. And so we figured this cardinal is Fred, uh, her dad. So I, I went home after the concert and I wrote this uh, chorus. Oh, now I have to play it. Um, and it doesn't really sound like me, the chorus. Um, it goes. Plant a piano in the yard around the peonies. And I would never put the word peonies in a song um, for many reasons. But like one of the reasons is that I'm not a botanist. And so I, I don't, I wouldn't sing about that. But I sent, 
I sent the song to my friend. I said, this too must be Fred. <laughs> and she said, did you know peonies are my mom's favorite flower? Um, I, of course, did not know that. So Fred and I finished the song, and it's called Grow a Little Ivy. And I think it's a song about grief. And I think it's about how grief can be such a monument in us. Like it doesn't necessarily go away. But around that monument grows life and joy and play and love. Like it just grows around grief, like ivy, you know? Okay. I think that's what it's about. But if you hate it, take it up with Fred. <laughs> Here it is. Grow a little ivy. I kept a spare key on the hook inside the kitchen not thinking of the fits it would put you in to see it when i'm not there to need it i left you day old coffee stray socks in your laundry and a corner of the garden with some life I can't take with me I didn't leave it like I found it I never do And I'm proud of that I promise you'll forget It ever felt like this Just plant a piano in the yard around the peonies Let the squirrels dance on the hammers While the cardinals sing Let the strings go frayed and tired Let the rain fall on the keys And if there's room for something green Grow a little ivy for me It wasn't simple Leaving it in the middle Reads just like a riddle Imagination's running Out of hand then out of time I drew a bath with jasmine To soak up some acceptance Some peace of mind without you in my life You didn't leave it like you found it You never do Be proud of that While the cardinals sing, let the strings go frayed and tired. Let the rain fall on the keys. And if there's room for something green, grow a little ivy for me. The wood will fall apart, the page will chip away. slow and sweet decay even when the vines have completely overtaken find yourself away to play While the cardinals sing, let the strings go frayed and 
tired Let the rain fall on the keys And if there's room for something green Thank you. Uh, thank you. My uh, relationship with church and religion now is very gentle and sweet and tender. Even though I don't attend a church or work at a church, I used to work at lots of churches. <laughs> uh, and I had to walk away from my own health, but I still have this, this loving relationship for these spaces like this. I like walking in to places like this and knowing like what the soap in the bathroom is gonna smell like. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> um, no, but I like, I, I'm familiar with it, right? I'm familiar with that, that smell, I'm, I'm familiar with like Joel vacuuming flies off the pews when I walked in. I was like, of course. Uh, I'm familiar with the words, with the symbols, with the, the altar, the cross. Um, these things are familiar, they're home to me. And I love that I can enter these places and still feel a sense of home. Uh, and this next song's about that. It's about even after you've walked away from something like, like church, if you have, um, we still get to call home what feels like home. Uh, so this is a song called Something Familiar. What's the harm in a lullaby? My curls tucked under your chin your face smells like clementines and sun-kissed summery skin what's the hurt in a nursery rhyme match the rhythm of this chair Till I fall into something familiar Past the part with the crosses and creeds And the part when those pacified me I'm a bird now collecting my seeds All that I need is something steady And stable, a cradle a table, something I can hold on to that holds me to Something old that can always be new What's the rush into letting go? After years spent on the run Take the heart called home hold it tight as you're coming undone past the part with the crosses and creeds and the part when those pacified me past the days when I cursed them with ease and the day they were suddenly me through the year I spent down on my knees through the part when I lost my belief I'm a bird now just give me peace all that I need is something steady and stable A cradle, a fable Something I can hold on to that holds me to Something old that can always be new
just a bird collecting my seeds may not believe help thou my need I'm just a bird collecting my peace may not believe help thou my need I am a bird A story, a stable, a cradle, a table fall into something familiar thank you thank you thank you friends uh, are any of you familiar with Calvin College or Calvin University now? Yes, yeah, some of you, okay. That's okay if you're not, good for you. Um, that's where I went, that's my alma mater. Uh, they're a Christian University in Grand Rapids, Michigan with a lot of tall Dutch people and um, and some weird hang-ups around sex and sexuality. Uh, but I, I had mostly a good experience there. I was a worship leader. This is like over a decade ago. Um, but I, I was a worship leader and there was a time when I realized that my peers believed the stuff we were singing uh, in a more, in a, in, a, in a truer way than I did. Um, it hurt me to believe it, so I was not believing it so much anymore. And uh, that was very stressful for me. <clears throat> but I didn't know what to do with that distress besides pray. <laughs> pray to the God I didn't know if I believed in. But that was the tool I had in my toolkit. That's what I knew to do when I was stressed and sad. So I wrote this song to that God. It's called Sometimes, and it is maybe the first honest song I ever wrote. It's just an offering of doubt. sing it like they're really happy they sing it like they're really free they sing it like they are a sparrow they sing like
to want to Sometimes it's hard to fall Thank you. Um, that time I heard some very polite, oh, so that, so that was very sweet. <laughs> We're in a church, not a stadium. But that's yeah, one of your favorites. Thank you. I have this relationship with loneliness that is extremely, profoundly unhealthy. And that is that I will sabotage my own happiness to feel lonely because I trust loneliness more. She's going to be around when no one else is. Happiness is elusive and, and, and fleeting, <laughs> untrustworthy, if you ask me. Uh, but this song is about that. It's about the funeral that I throw for my happiness sometimes. And about how, how loneliness shows up at the door. Like, babe, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you and me forever, babe. I, uh, I, sh I sh shared this song with a friend right after I'd written it. And he said, Spencer, not everyone is like that. <laughs> Okay, um, 
And uh, he, he taught me, though, that, that for a lot of us, the work, the good work, the journey is learning how to be friends with our loneliness because she will be there for us when no one else is. And I had a, a different friend hear the song and tell me that loneliness is almost a God figure in the song. Uh, when no one else is there and no one's there to understand you, loneliness is. Um, so however you see loneliness, whatever your relationship is with her, this song is for us. It's called The Art of Feeling Lonely. <laughs> I would, it, usually when I do that, I just do, first, I do verse two before verse one, and no one knows. But this is a narrative, an artistic narrative. I need to start at the beginning, so we're, we're going we're to try it again. <laughs> I summon her with lilies, put some Kleenex in the pew. Close my eyes and hum, amazing. up in the doorway, gosh, and it feels just like the truth. Come closer, come on, cover me in gray. She starts to acquiesce and wraps me in her dress. It's so sweet. It's a bit possessive, should scare me half to death. But if it doesn't break my heart, it wasn't worth a thing. This is the This is 
is the art of feeling lonely. It always surprises me when people like that one. Um, but there are like way more weirdos in the world than I thought, I guess. <laughs> um, so that's cool. <clears throat> I have a record coming out, a new one, a brand new 12 songs coming out next Friday. This, fr this Friday? Friday. And um, it's called Shadow Puppets. Most of the songs on the album are like songs about my past that for some reason I wasn't able to write until now. And when I think about my past, I, I think about shadows and how we make shadows. Have you ever made a shadow puppet with your hand before? Um, you know how, so say there's a candle. Do you know how if your hand is right next to the candle, the shadow it casts is not a real shape, it's just a big dark blob on the wall? But if you move away from the light source a bit, you get some distance, the shape that you're able to make is clearer. Like, it's an owl or a, I don't know. So I think about my past and how it's like that. Like, when I get some distance from it, the shapes that it makes, the stories it tells, are a little bit clearer and easy to handle, easier to understand and deal with. So, so the album's called Shadow Puppets, and here's the, here's the title track, Shadow Puppets. I would love to play it for you. This one is out. You can listen to this today if you wanted to. Not right now. I'm going to play it for you here right now. <laughs> and then go to your car and listen to it. Thank you for being polite. <laughs> We're prepared to lose power Every candle collects Tub full of water, street siren news, anger goes silent. The basement space beneath the staircase is a playhouse and a stage. By the spotlight of the tallest burning wick, she writes a plot line with her palms and fingers twisted. A shadow so big, a shadow so wide, it's a darkness. I could fit my whole self inside, she says. Just pull away, away from the flame. Now it's a shape you can make with your hands, just an owl coming to land. Just a monster you can understand. I have a way with my words, and I use them to run you into the woods, past the curb of our street, jump the curb in the weeds, find you curled. Give it all. 
Um, the time is flying. Do you have it in you for two more? Yeah. Yes? I say that I'm, I'm very aware of, of our time. I'm, I'm very aware of my bladder. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Um, <laughs> One of my 2024 goals is to stay hydrated, um, which I'm doing a very good job at, um, but I haven't learned how to <laughs> manage my time, if that makes sense. Uh, you've been a wonderful audience, thank you. Uh, I've just got a couple more. Uh, this song was released yesterday, so, so it's, uh, you can listen to it. And you should, it's way cooler. The studio version's way cooler, but I'm gonna try to do it justice here. Um, there was a time in my younger adulthood when if you would've come to me from the future and said, hey kids, someday you're gonna wake up and basically feel okay, I would not have believed you. Um, but these days I wake up and I basically feel okay every day and so I, I wrote this song as a letter to that young self um, to sort of heal, heal backwards, to heal the inner child. So if part of you needs to hear that, this song is a hug for us, for our inner child. It's called, Someday You'll Wake Up Okay. Hear it for Brian running sound tonight. College town post Halloween, twenty somethings remembering they signed up to be something. Call your mom and tell her you're flourishing. So many ways to hide yourself, trade a costume in. Pick another out, just a holiday, just a major, just a dorm night out and some makeup. I see you pulling at the sweater on your shoulders. You're acting so much older than you need to. No one told you that's not freedom. You won't hear me, but I'll think it from the future. I'll believe enough for you, so it's possible. Whatever happens, you're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. It's possible. It'll happen. You're gonna wake up feeling better. It's gonna 
so much to Joel and to everybody at Covenant, uh, the whole hospitality team, you've been wonderful, thank you. Um, thank you, Bob, for inviting me up to Central Ohio in the first place. Um, I wouldn't have known there were so many welcoming Presbyterians here. Um, this last song, uh, you may have heard uh, plowshare prayer. Um, do we know what a plowshare is? Great, yeah, 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 right. Farming tool uh, breaks up the ground where the ground is hardened so that new things can grow. And I like to think our hearts are similar. Um, sometimes we need a little help for new things to grow there. Uh, so this, this is for all of us. Um, thank you so much for having me. Please keep up with me out in the world. And I hope to see you again sometime. All right, thank you. Dear blessed creator, Dear mother, dear savior, dear father, dear brother, dear holy other, dear sibling, dear baby, dear patiently waiting, dear sad and confused, dear stuck and abused, dear end of your rope, dear worn out and broke, dear go it alone, dear running from home, dear righteously angry, 
forsaken by family, dear jaded and quiet, dear tough and defiant, I pray that I'm heard, and I pray that this works. I pray if a prayer as a sword against you and your heart against you and your word I pray that this prayer is a plowshare of sorts that it might break you open it might help you grow and I pray that your body gets all that it needs and if you don't want healing I just pray for peace I pray that your burden gets lighter each day I pray the mean voice in your head goes away I pray that you honor the grief as it comes I pray you can feel all the life in your lungs I pray that if you go all day being brave that you can go home go to bed feeling safe and I pray you're forgiven I pray you forgive Let's give, yeah, thank you, Spencer. What an incredible show that was. Uh, for those of you who didn't hear this, the new album is coming out on Friday, and you can get it at spencerlajoy.com. There are people in this world who still like to get physical albums of music, and I am one of them. So if you want CDs, will there be vinyl available? Uh, 
It's just CDs, great. <laughs> SpencerLaJoy.com. Come get a cookie across the hall. We'll give Spencer a second to do what to listen to her to their body. So um, <laughs> thank you all for coming. Come come grab a cookie. We're so glad you're here. Uh, have a great night.